Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. The Integrity Commission has referred Prime Minister Andrew Holness to its Director of Corruption Prosecution after concluding that Mr. Holness may have influenced the awarding of millions of dollars in government contracts to the company of a business associate. The recommendation was made in a 107-page report which contains details of an investigation into the award of 10 contracts valued at more than $21 million to Westcon Construction Limited between 2006 and 2009. The government announced Wednesday the declaration of states of emergency for Clarendon and St. Anne, as well as the Kingston Western Police Division. The 14-day measures come amid a 200% increase in murders in Clarendon and a 22% hike in St. Anne. The opposition People's National Party is demanding information including the compensation for former Army Chief Lieutenant General Rocky Meade who has been given an ambassadorship just five months after he declined a controversial posting as Cabinet Secretary. The Office of the Prime Minister on Tuesday announced that Dr. Meade has been appointed ambassador with responsibility for national strategic initiatives covering all of government. 73-year-old Violet Thomas Smythe was found burnt to death at her home in Crofts Hill District in Clarendon on Tuesday night. In sports, India defeated West Indies by six wickets in their Group B game of the ICC Women's T20 World Cup today. The Windies made 118 for six of their 20 overs, which India overhauled in 18.1 overs. In your currency trading at midday today, one US dollar was being sold for $155.12, the British pound sterling for $190.65, and the Canadian dollar for $116.83. In your other forecast, on Thursday morning, expect isolated showers across eastern parishes. In the afternoon, expect isolated showers across hilly areas and western parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram and like, comment and share on YouTube. I'm Jovan Johnson.